citizens, heroes, and villains out there. Welcome to Sean Humberg's Creative Corner. I'm Sean Humberg. Today we're doing another random art challenge. My wife has gone to Walmart and gotten five things with an idea in mind of what she wants me to make. Can I figure it out before she tells me? We're going to be using these five items and the rules of the challenge are I can use anything else in the creative corner, whether it be tools, paints, or anything else, but I must use the five items that she got. So without further ado, let's see if I can find out what these five random items are supposed to make. Okay, item number one. We have spray glitter. I already don't like where this is going. Item number two. We have a bling bucket. Item number three. There's more than one thing in there. We have white beads. More beads, colored beads. I'm gonna guess this is more beads. Yep, there are a lot of beads. We have cookie sheets. Our last and final item is... We have a, a window, window frame. She had to have something in mind to give me these items. Am I gonna make what she was thinking? Out of spray glitter, bling bucket, beads, a window frame, and cookie sheets. I'm gonna need a moment. My wife does have an idea of how these items are supposed to go together and they are in this sealed envelope and I cannot open this until I'm done with the project to see if I came anywhere near what her idea was. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to make out of this stuff. She told me something here was going to give it away. Based on the evidence, that was a lie. 1500 opaque pony beads. What makes them pony beads? That's That bothers me. Are they made out of ponies? Are these hoof beads? Am I supposed to bedazzle something? I don't know what point those would melt. This is a heck of a riddle. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. So I'm thinking about doing something very similar to pixel art. Um, these are plastic, so I'm betting that I could melt these, and that's what the cookie sheets are for. We're going to make a plastic stained glass window. We need to test our theory and see if this will even melt. Okay, so they will melt, but it will take time. So I'm gonna do an experiment. I'm gonna take one of the small cookie sheets and I'm gonna go ahead and try to melt some of these in the oven. All right, let's do our test. Hey, look at that. So that worked. As you can see, it melted just fine. Worked to the wise though, this stinks. Open some windows. That came out very sturdy with a glossy side and a matte side. Very interesting. Let's start by pouring out a bunch of our beads. I think that I really just want to do a gradient. I want to just go from one color to the next. But I want to sort of mix it in, make it look like a pixel art gradient. I need to separate all of my colors. This is going to take a minute. I want to create a gradient from dark to light. We only need to take out this much area right here. All right, now it's time to melt this design. While we're waiting for that to bake, I am excited to announce that Sean Humberg's Creative Corner officially has its own eShop at SeanHumbergsCreativeCorner.com where you can check out our latest apparel and lists of the items and tools that I like to use in the Creative Corner. 
Feel free to go check it out and get your official Sean Humber Creative Corner merchandise, as well as use the same tools that I use right here at the Creative Corner. Now we have one side of our faux stained glass. This is really, really fun. You can actually do a lot of different kinds of art projects using just beads in the stove, apparently. And it's cheaper than those little things that you have to put on board and iron down. Here is our faux stained glass. Here is what it looks like when placed in our little window frame. We'll make another one and we'll go from there. Okay, that's in the oven. So for the rest of the beads, we're gonna move them out of the way and go ahead and get started with the bling bucket. So let's get these out of here. Ah! Okay, so since we had to clean up a few beads, which we got, these are all the beads left. We now do have our two panes. Let's go and start seeing what we're gonna do with these. Wow, okay, a lot of, uh, lot of different shapes and colors. I've got the larger ones spread out which I'm gonna use as my primary centerpieces and main decoration. And then I'll sort through these afterwards to figure out how I wanna really add little intricacies. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at how our glitter spray works on something. Okay, so let's go ahead and test it out on our piece of paper. <laughs> I'm a Twilight Vampire now. Okay, I've sprayed these down, so now we have glittery gradient backdrop. Let's go ahead and attach our background to our frame. Now you can see the frame with the backdrop in it. Now we have to add the jewels on the inside. It is now time to go through the tedious process of gluing them all down to the backdrop. Okay, so now we're done. And with minimal mess. What is there? Is there something in my... Right here? Right here? So here's the result of our random art challenge. But the question is, is it what we were supposed to make? Before we find out, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment in the comment section down below what you would have done differently, what you would have liked to have made, and anything you might want to see in future videos. Without further ado, let's see if we got it right. Woo! Hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely had fun making it. This looks like something that might be hanging out in Hyrule Castle. Thank you for watching. Can't wait to see what we build together next. Sean Humberg, signing out.